hi again. I've missed you guys so much. It's been such a long time. I've actually been on a holiday from holidays, or as American friends would say, a vacation from our vacations. So we had so many holidays last year. Um, we went to Orlando, for instance, six times alone. We did a cruise, we did um, Vegas. A lot of that you would have seen on the previous vlogs. We thought we'd have a little break, so we haven't been anywhere since we went to Budapest. But all that is about to change. So, as you can see, suitcases are packed and ready to go. And this has got a little twist to it. I hope you like it. Um, I kind of do. So, a little while ago, um, our friend said to us, uh, we, I think I've made a little bit of a mistake. And I said, well, what mistake have you made? She said, I've booked tickets um, for the girls because their daughter is 18, the same as our daughter, or was just about 18. Um, I've booked tickets for the two girls to see Harry Styles. I said, oh, that's, yeah, that's fine. That's not a mistake. I can give you the money. She said, no, no, it's not that. She said, I don't want the money. The problem is the concert's in Melbourne. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. So she said, would you come to Melbourne with us? So um, I have an issue with my back that I can't travel um, long, long distances. Um, for instance, when I went to the Maldives last year or the year before, um, it was a 17 hour trip and it took me quite a few days to recover. So I said to Pandy, bless him, I said, because I've got a big birthday coming up, um, would he possibly pay for business class tickets? And um, it didn't take a lot to convince him, bless him. So we've got business class tickets to Sydney. So tomorrow is our minus one travel day. So we're going to travel up from our home in South Wales to um Newport by bus. Then we're going to get on a coach and go on the coach from Newport to Heathrow Terminal 4, which I've booked us in into the Premier Inn for the night. And then we fly at 11 o'clock in the morning. I've got a bit of the itinerary here, that's why I'm looking. We fly at 11 o'clock in the morning and we fly out of Heathrow Terminal 4 and we go to Ho Chi Minh. So that flight will take us 12 hours 55 minutes, that first leg. And then we've, we've got a connection time of 14 hours 35. The reason being um, is because we're travelling with Vietnam Airlines and Vietnam Airlines were about half the price of um, the likes of Virgin or British Airways for business class flying to um, Sydney because that's the place we wanted to start off. So after the 14 hour 35 minute layover, we then fly at 21.30 from Ho Chi Minh to Sydney, Kings Kingsford Smith. Um, and that flight time is eight hours 20. I'm really, really looking forward to the flight. Really, that's, that's probably one of the highlights for me because I love traveling and especially in business class. I prefer that actually from first class. Anyway, so that's part of the trip. That's the only part I know. So obviously I know the girls are going to see Harry Styles. I, As far as I know, I haven't got a ticket to go and see Harry Styles, um, but the two younger girls are going. We're going with our friends, the SW family. Um, and that's all I know, literally all I know. So when everything started planning, when the SW started planning, because they said, we'll plan everything and you just come along, which is fantastic for me, but really surreal because normally I book everything, I plan everything, I research everything. I've done none of that at all for this trip. The only thing I've been um, asked to do is book our own flight. So we're actually traveling separately from the SWs. They land, I think, an hour or two hours before us. So we'll just meet them out in Sydney. <coughs> um, yeah, so I'm really, really looking forward to it. Really looking forward to taking you guys with me. It's going to be such a fantastic adventure. I know it will. Well, I'm hoping it will. I haven't, I really, truly haven't got a clue what we're doing. So I know there's um, 
some internal flights, I know that. They've asked me things like, um, would I swim in the sea um, in Australia? They've asked me things like, would I stay in a hostel? The only thing I have said is, I don't mind where we stay, but I'd like my own bathroom. I don't want to share a communal bathroom or preferably a communal bedroom. <laughs> So fingers crossed that's not going to happen, um, but it's just going to be a wicked adventure and I'm so excited. Um, my dad and my stepmom visited um, Sydney uh, before my dad passed away. So there is a photo that I've got of my dad that I'd like to recreate and stand sort of in the same-ish place as that. Um, our friend Mickey's been so he's told us all about it and we've got friends, um, the snowballs, who Peter is from Australia. So we've viewed lovely, lovely things about Australia. We've also got friends as well who live out there. Um, so yes, I'm babbling on now. I'm so excited. Pandy's gone down the pub um, be <laughs> just because, but I am so nervous. I'm feeling sick because I'm just, I don't know what this week's gonna, well, it's not just a week, it's three and a half weeks. So we're, we're all together, we're off for a month. So, follow our vlog, please, and subscribe, please, because it really does make a huge difference. And, um, yeah, come with us on an adventure to who knows where. <laughs>